the Grady emergency room is full of craziness. I mean, it's just constant streaming craziness, whether it's psychosocial or medical problems or, you know, processes. I mean, he just takes it all in, absorbs it, and smiles and finds a solution. It's really amazing how he absorbs all that chaos and turns it into a working machine. He is committed to ensuring that no matter who comes through those doors, they are able to receive the highest level of care, respect, dignity. Um, he treats them just like he would treat his own family. As the Chief of Emergency Medicine at Grady, Dr. Hani Atala has built Grady's emergency department into the benchmark of care in the South teaching both efficiency and empathy as standards of practice. I think at our busiest times on any given Monday, between the hours of 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., we'll probably get somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 patients an hour. So there's one patient every two minutes for two to three hours straight, which in many cases is probably enough to shut down almost any emergency department. The Grady Emergency Room is one of the busiest in the country, and he has taken it and uh, overseen a renovation. He's changed the way care is delivered and how teams are organized in the um, emergency room. Our time that patients wait in the emergency department has decreased substantially, and the level of service has increased, and really that has a lot to do with his level of leadership and commitment to Grady. Chris Copeland is a member of the Grady EMS team. When a patient arrives at the hospital, it is often in the back of Chris's ambulance. However, one evening after finishing his shift, Chris found himself in need of Grady's emergency services. I came to Grady because I was having abdominal pain, acute abdominal pain, like three o'clock in the morning. And he came in one day and he said, you know, I have an upset stomach. I think he had had some chicken wings late the night before. And so I went to go see him. And, and I can't tell you exactly what it was other than to tell you sort of my spidey sense was tingling a little bit because, you know, I mean, everyone's had an upset stomach from chicken wings, but this seemed a little out of the ordinary. And so I said, you know what, I think I'm going to order a CAT scan on his belly. And I'm like, come on, really, I just want to go home. I got food poisoning. It was from the bad food I ate the other day. I'm good. He said, let's just do one more test. And that test changed my life. So we, did the we, gave the... we did the CAT scan and it turns out he had appendicitis. Chris knew from his experience as a paramedic that untreated appendicitis could have severe, if not fatal results, but he was hesitant to have the surgery. So I think that Chris uh, was nervous enough and said, well, I want you to talk to my grandmother. And so I said, okay, but let's call, let's call grandma. So we called his grandmother and she actually helped me convince him to have the surgery. And what made it all worthwhile after this whole situation is that they sat in the room, we all prayed together with my grandmother on the phone, and then the OR staff pushed me to surgery, and he saved my life. So I'm forever grateful to him and to the entire staff. And I think that's another reason that I'm so proud to work where we work is, is people will do what needs to be done. People don't feel that they're above talking to grandma or that they're above talking to a family member. And that's not only the customer service to the patient, but that's the customer service to the family as well, which goes a long way. Dr. Atala has shown countless times that he's never too busy to go the extra mile for his patients or his colleagues. In the emergency department, it's 24 seven, and sometimes we have things that happen on off hours, um, not during nor normal business hours, and he has responded in the middle of the night to come and help and mitigate and deal with issues and concerns and to be there for staff. He is not a nine to five leader. He knows what the job entails and he lives it completely and fully. Dr. Atala, thank you for everything you do for Grady. Thank you for making me a better chief and thank you for uh, bringing us all up. Dr. Atala, thank you for your vision, your commitment to Grady. I wanna thank the entire emergency department. Again, um, I'm not successful and we're not successful as a team unless everyone puts uh, their heart into it and I think everyone has done that. And then certainly my family. So, um, you know, I tell people often, the price we pay uh, is time away from our families, um, and that's so we could be at work to help people who need it. But um, um, you know, definitely uh, every minute I'm working, I'm thinking about my family and and how much they mean to me, and how much um, uh, my life just wouldn't be the same without them. Dr. Atala, I would like to say from the bottom of my heart, I am profoundly thankful to you, my angel. <laughs>